Hi everyone, my name is Jade Calver. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be talking you through the process of setting up an express entry profile. So just briefly about express entry. Express entry covers three different types of application for permanent residency. That is the federal skilled worker class. So for that class of application, you need to have at least one year of continuous work experience and meet a 67 points out of 100 points on a specific scoring system. There's the Canadian Experience class, which is the second one, where you need to have at least one year of skilled work experience in Canada. And there's also the Federal Skilled Trades class. You need to have a job offer in Canada or a certificate in that trade and at least two years of work experience in your trade in order to apply. So what needs to happen first before you are able to submit an application to one of these classes of application is you need to create an online express entry profile. So what this profile does is it takes in all of your information and that's what gives you a comprehensive ranking score in the comprehensive ranking system or CRS system for short. And that will effectively allow you to be considered. So it's like an expression of interest to the government. The government, once your profile is in the pool, invites candidates to apply to its various programs approximately every two weeks. And the goal is, of course, for you to have the highest score possible so that you have a good chance of being invited to apply. I'll also note that the Canadian provinces have access to these express entry pools as well. So they can also nominate applicants through the express entry pools. With some of the programs not seeing as many invitations to apply this year on the federal side, we've actually seen the provinces kind of take advantage of that and invite certain applicants through express entry. So it's a really great way to, you know, put your name in there and make sure that you are ready to apply and available for a nomination either from a province or from the federal government for one of the applications. But as I said today, I'm going to just focus on some tips on creating an express entry profile. So in order to apply, again, it's not necessary, but in order to be given points for some of the main criteria, which are education and language, you need to have a couple of documents ready in order to be able to claim those points. So for language, we like to see an approved language test. So that's either, either the IELTS or the CELPIP, the general tests, or there's a TEF exam for Canada, which is for French uh, speakers. You can take both, it gives you extra points if you speak both French and English. So that's for English testing. And then for your education, you have to use a third party to have your education evaluated. I would say 99% of my clients use World Education Services. Certain clients, if they have a medical degree, for example, they have to go through a certain ECA provider. But for the most part, I would say just use uh, WETS. And so with these two reports, so once you have your language uh, testing done and your educational report, what you can do is you can start to create a profile in the express entry system. So what happens is you go online to the Canadian government's website, you create a GC key account, and you start the process of creating an online express entry account. So if you're using an authorized representative, we can submit an express entry application for you. If you're doing it on your own, you can take a quiz on the Immigration Canada website and answer a few questions. What will happen is they'll say, okay, you're eligible for express entry. And then with that, what you'll do is start to create your express entry profile. It will ask you about your personal details, so age, place of birth, some information about your family. If you're married, your information about your family, your number of family members. Make sure that you are sure to include your correct number of family members, so that's yourself and all of your children who are aged under 22. And then you'll put in your educational information as well as your language testing information. And then you'll fill out your work experience history. What essentially you need to be mindful of, especially if you're applying for the Federal Skilled Worker Program, is that you need to have at least one year of continuous experience in a high-skilled NOC. 
a lot of clients come to us with an ineligible profile because they haven't filled that out properly. Similarly, if you're applying for the trades class, you need to make sure that you have the two years of experience in the last five years in that NOC. So it really does help to understand the actual programs that you're applying to rather than just how the comprehensive ranking system for express entry works. Remember, that's just a ranking system and not an actual immigration program. So what happens after you've filled all of your information into the express entry profile, you'll click submit profile. And then usually within 24 to 48 hours, you will receive an email saying congratulations, your profile is in the pool for express entry. And then you'll be given a comprehensive ranking score with an overall score for your profile. So it can be anywhere from, we see scores from the 300s up into the 600s. It really depends on your unique situation. And then what will happen is your profile is valid for one year. I always make sure that we're only putting clients into the pool that are actually competitive. I consider anything in the 400s and above to be competitive. Anything lower than that, you have to probably be a little bit more strategic about how you're going to apply for Canadian immigration. But in general, 400 points plus, especially in certain occupations, is considered to be competitive for Canadian immigration. Um, and then from there, you wait for an invitation to apply for one of the applications for Express Entry. So again, one of the three that I mentioned at the beginning of this video. And then you put your documentation together and submit to the federal government. So that's all the information that I have for you today on creating an Express Entry profile. If you have any questions for me regarding Express Entry Profile, whether it being you know, selecting the correct NOC code, making sure that you have an eligible profile for Canadian immigration, or if you have any questions in general about the Express Entry process, we're happy to help. We're online at calvarimmigrationservices.com and you can find us on social media as well. Thank you so much.